Hi, how are you all? How are you all today? I've been spending a bit of time researching in this book, The Clot Thickens by Dr. Malcolm Kendrick. He's a GP in England um, and he has spent a lot of time just researching about cholesterol and fats. And I am going to attempt today to share with you some of the information that I've uh, gleaned from the book and just tried to make it a bit more user-friendly so that anyone might be able to understand it and perhaps they might buy Dr. McKendrick's book. So let's talk about um, lip lipoproteins. They float around in your blood and they come in all different sizes. The biggest one is this one. It's a chylomicron. That's the biggest size. The next size is referred to, I'm just showing you the size, it's not to scale, but just to show you that this is the biggest one and we move down to the smallest one. They're not actually scale to scale, but they do range from large to small. Chylomicron, very low density, VLDL lipoprotein. The next size is LDL. That's the one we hear so much about. The next one is low density. And the next one is high density LDL. We always hear about high density LDL and LDL, don't we, when you have a, if you've ever had a cholesterol test done, they're the ones that they seem to measure. Today, we're going to talk about VLDL and this BLDL, VLDL and LDL. We're going to talk about these two because they seem to be a starring role in how our body uses fat, but we'll also talk about chylomicrons too. So fat and lipids have an interesting story because of the way our body digests them. So fats enter the digestive system once we've eaten a fatty meal um, and they're emulsified by salts in the gallbladder so they're all mixed up and munched around and they're packaged into little balls or little balloons like this called chylomicrons, chylomicrons, so they're full of fat. But fat's unique because it doesn't enter the bloodstream directly. It doesn't go into the liver directly. The liver doesn't deal with fat. These pass straight through the gut wall into the lymph system via the thoracic duct, and they go straight to the bloodstream. They don't enter the liver at all. The liver does not digest fats. Fats do not enter the liver. They're not friends. They don't want to be with, around with each other. Eventually they do, but not at this size. So that's an important fact to remember that the liver and fats are not friends. These little balloons of fat or chylomicrons travel through the bloodstream and bump into many things and slowly reduce their size down to that of about an LDL particle, this one, that size, not that one, this one. So they go from big to very, to quite small. So only a small percentage of the fat that you eat is dealt with by the liver. And fat's general fate is to travel through the bowel into the fat cells and stored in the form of triglycerides. There's no crowning glory pathway at all for saturated fats. They're all fats are treated equally in the body. Saturated, polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats all dealt with in the same way. Your body doesn't know the difference. They do know the difference with the compound, but not with how they deal with them. The real difference between all these fats is how their carbon molecules are arranged. So saturated fats, which we know predominantly are animal fats, have two hydrogen atoms and two to two carbon molecules are arranged. They're saturated with hydrogen and carbon. Unsaturated fats have two carbon atoms amongst the mix with only one hydrogen atom attached and polyunsaturated fats have two or more atoms that only have one hydrogen atom attached. That's all to do with hydrogen and carbon and that's the difference in their makeup. It's well known in today's scientific literature that saturated fat can not raise LDL levels. 
if you're not up to date with the new science, you will probably believe the old story about poor LDL is the bad cholesterol. Let's dispel this myth and share some new science. Let's have a little bit of a think out of the box and see what we can discover and whether or not it sits well with you. We know generally that our bodies are very good at keeping our blood levels and the things that move around in our body at a finite level. Your body wants to be well. It wants to digest its food well. It wants to sleep well. It wants to keep you alive. It doesn't want you to be unwell and out of balance. So when our systems are all working well, it's referred to as homeostasis. It's also referred to as a negative feedback system. Um, so hormones work on this system, um, blood pressure works on this system, but an easy one to get your head around is temperature regulation. So if your body is hot, your body turns on your sweat glands, doesn't it? And you cool down. That's a negative feedback system because then you cool down, your body turns off the sweat glands and you heat back up again and then they turn it on and you cool back down. So it's a negative feedback um, system. The product um, and the outcome work together. So if saturated fat, as we have been told, was indeed to drive LDL out of control, then saturated fat would have to bypass this negative feedback system in our blood and we would have a state of havoc. Your body simply would not let that happen. So what is LDL made of? So let's track back a little bit. This is the LDL, a very low density lipoprotein. This little guy is indeed made in the liver. The LDLs contain both fat and cholesterol. They're also called triglycerides. So you would have heard of that if you've ever um, contemplated having your cholesterol levels checked. These guys travel around the body, transporting fats out of the liver and deliver them in the body where they're called for. They also get smaller and smaller as they travel around the body and they shrink down to become an LDL particle this small. It's confusing, all of these terms. I'm hoping that you're getting some um, perspective out of this video. In my next video, I'll go into this in a little bit more depth. So watch out for my next video in a few days' time. Please like and share my channel and send me requests for anything you would like to know about um, because I love a good bit of research and I like trying to make it uh, understandable for everyone to understand and help people to get better and get well in their lives. So I'll see you next time. Remember to click the share and like button and uh, we'll be in touch soon.